What I do, what it do, what it do, what it do, fam. I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time, this is a great matchup. <laughs> As you know, both of these is paint protectors. Uh, this is the Meguiar's paint protector. 365 days worth of durability. Faster to use than wax. Bees water like crazy. Okay. Now, this is cheap. Now, Meguiar's is very affordable now. You can get this at your Roses store, guys, for $2.99. Bring you guys in. To Dow, $2.99. And we're going up against the Rennie Doyle Collection Bee Maker Paint Protector. Spray apply, cure protection, long lasting shine, highly hydrophobic, extremely easy to use. All right. I'll just be having fun with these products, guys. Just pouring them together. You know, now the bee maker is going to run you about $18 and some change. And like I said, the Meguiar's is cheap in the bargain bins. Cost $3 at the Roses store. Whew. That's a big difference. <laughs> I hope it is. I hope it's, um, that Meguiar's is just as good as their bee maker. I'll tell you. And if it is. That could really be your go-to product right there. It's going to save you some money. All right. So, uh, as you know, the Meguiar's got to be spreaded on the panel and then buffed away. Well, the bee making you just spread it up there and wipe it away. You know what I'm saying? No big deal about that. Okay. So, since the Meguiar's takes a little bit more effort to apply, we're going to start with that first. All right, so let's jump into it. Uh, I think this thing open. Let me open. Yeah, it's open. And what I do, I just apply it to an applicator. I'm just going to take it and smooth it on this pretty decent looking panel. That's how we're going to do it, man. Dun, 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 uh. This stuff is easy to apply to. It just the way I'm doing it for you guys. It's basically just like laying down a foundation coat. Then you're taking it and just buff it away. That's all you're doing. You know, it's basically like um, you're putting down the McGuire ceramic wax. Basically, you know, just keeping it real. Okay, that's all up in there. I don't know if you let that cure or whatever. I let it cure on the panel for a minute or two, and then I come back and buff it like it says, you know. Yeah, so we'll move over here to the bead maker. What I'm gonna do for that? I'm just gonna spray a little on the panel. I'll wipe it. Like so. Alright, that's all we do for that. Spray it on the panel and just wipe it away like so. Okay. Give it away. The run a door collection. Dun, 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 dun. Both of them is paint protector, but it claimed the McGuire's claims it lasts a full year. You know? So if that's true, man. This can really be your go to paint sealant. Might well say what it is. Paint sealant. So I'm kind of buffing in the bead maker. Okay. The bead maker is very slick under that microfiber cloth, guys. I'll tell you that much. If you never use this bead maker, guys, you need to get up on it. If you're detailing cars out there, it's easy to apply, easy to use. But I tell you this, guys, make sure you charge for that bead maker because <laughs> it's pretty pricey. So if you use this on a customer's car, if you're doing a lot of detailing out there, you know, 
you got two, three, four cars you do a week. And some customers, you know, pay you more than others. Um, the one that's paying you the most, hit their car with that bead maker. Make it pop right quick, like. And, man, you ought to feel, man, look at this. Is how slick this stuff is. Stuff is super slick, man. I'm telling you guys, y'all gonna be impressed with that bead maker. Make sure you shake that baller really well, though. Say your arm, man. When I said your backs and stuff be hurting and detailing, believe me, I ain't throwing no shots at nobody. When I say your backs and stuff be hurting in detailing, believe me, your backs and arms and stuff hurt in, in detailing. Not all because of detailing. A lot of time, man, it depends on some of the products you're using. <laughs> i give you an example. Try applying Turtle Wax hard shield on a car. <laughs> and get in the back off and see what happens. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And not only the Turtle Wax. Believe me, there's more products out there. It's kind of tough to work with a little bit. Not only that. Now, that's why I'm going to make another video talk about this people arms and backs be hurting it ain't really got nothing to do with cars detailing x amount of cars a lot of times it depends on what kind of products you're using man i'm trying to make life easy <laughs> i'm telling you that ceramic wax boom man i'll be back with another video all right it's this buff in this beat this um mcguire's paint protector all right, yeah, guys. This is it's sometimes the products that you're using out there instead of buffing in, buffing in like this right here. And y'all, I mean, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, some of these products are, is 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 tough to use out here now. And honestly, this paint protector is easy to use. Flip the rag and just buff it. You know, it's. Like I said, it's basically like put down a ceramic coat. You know, when you're using the McGuire's hybrid ceramic wax or something like that, it's basically like putting the foundation down of that ceramic wax because basically all it said is put it on the pan and buff away. Let me close the top. It's easy to use, man. And if this stuff really going to protect your car for a full year, who, who ain't going to go for that? <laughs> if it's true to his word and for $2.99 at your Rosa stores, now I know a lot of you guys near Rosa stores. If that stuff really protect your car for a full year, we have us a winner here. <laughs> I already got a winner. Shots out to McGuire's out there. Along with 3M in the house, too, sitting back looking. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, if this stuff really lasts a year, I know you guys going to be like, well, you better get up on it. Folk by start running to it. And something that's cheaper, like that McGrath's paint protector right there, something that's cheaper than the average product that's out there now, you telling me you ain't going to jump up and shoot the Roses store somewhere and get the, get all the bottles up there, which I probably will. I bought this from Roses, guys. Matter of fact, when I bought this one, I bought two or three of them. But I, I was in Roses just today, and I seen like 10 bottles up there. So the Roses store is carrying that Maguire's paint protector, man. You know, and that product was kind of under the radar. You know, a lot of people didn't really talk about that one. For example, like the McGuire's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. People ain't talking about that paint protector like they do that product. You know. Okay, guys. I don't know why, but I, I guess that's just where crazy is. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to water test it. We're going to feel the slickness. I did like it said do. Feel the slickness. That paint protector is very slick. Let's go ahead and rent the door. It's slick. 
Seems like that paint protector is slicker. I don't know. <laughs> but it's cheap. $3 versus $18 some change. All right, so let's water test this job. I'm anxious to find out which one I'm going to be water the best. That's my goal. Here we go, guys. We're going to start with the Meguiar's paint protector. Here we go. Okay. Now let's go over to Ronnie Doe. Bead maker. Oh, man. That bead maker ain't no joke. Look at there. No joke. All right. And from what I'm seeing here, that bee maker is just winning. But you consider the price of it. Still, that McGuire's still ain't no joke. Okay, let's dry it, and we're going to hit it again. Okay, we're going to dry that, and we're going to hit it again. Both products. And I do like the paint protector, guys, because it's very easy to apply. Just get your little applicator pad and just lay it right down on the panel, man. That's all you got to do. Okay, we're going to go over here to the bead maker. And we're going to do that one. These products be close to call, man. I tell you. Guess that's why you got to experiment with them a little bit so you can see what they really can do. I'm being honest with you. But we don't really know. Okay. All right. No, let's hit it again, man. Let's see what it'll do. Let's start with the Maguires again. Okay, let's go to B Maker. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Now it looks to me like the Maguire's actually is beating on the paint better. Be making looking different. Both of them beat them very good. Actually, they beat them close to the same. I would say the edge goes to the Maguire's. Actually, the beating action is tighter on the Maguire's. Guys, see here? The paint protector is tighter versus the bead maker. The Maguire's paint protector. Well, y'all see it? The Maguire's one, this one, fair and square. Now, either way, if even if it was too close to call, Maguire still would have won this one. Why? It's because it is $15 difference in the price. $3 versus $18.14. $3.14 difference to be exact, guys. And that's a big difference. $3 is a 15. It's $3.14 difference. You know what I'm saying? This stuff costs is $15 higher, what I'm trying to say. $15.14 higher, basically, than the, the Meguiar's paint protector. So easily. And you can see the bees here. 
Here, that's the Maguire's paint protector. Here's bead maker. Okay. Now, both products are great, but you got to give it up to the one that's cheaper. And, and one that beat it better, and that's going to be the Maguire's. All right, but both are great products. Get both of them in your arsenal if you ain't got them. The Meguiar's only cost $3 at your Roses store. Um, y'all comment below and give me y'all take on this. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Meguiar's is the winner. And way, way $15 cheaper. Put it like that. <laughs> All right, so guys, you're new to my channel. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And until next time, man. Maguire just blow this out in the, out in the water. <laughs> you guys take care. I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.